In every project, objects must have attached quantities. Then those quantities must be calculated and completed in a series of reports. And they can take up valuable project time being attached and quantified. The MicroStation Connect Edition provides functionality called item types that can attach non-graphical metadata to elements within your projects and can be used across various Bentley products. Let's take a quick look. I'll start by picking the Attach Item tool. I'll select from my bid items the Cable Guard Rail. This is the non-graphic data that I need to attach to my geometry. This non-graphic data can contain any type of information that you might need. Here, I'll track the description, which is my pay item name. There's also an item number, which is the pay item number itself. The units that I need to quantify with, in this case, linear feet. The design length, which will track the length of the geometry. And I might want to track this guardrail by the alignment it's referenced to. It's starting and ending station along the alignment and whether it's on the right side or left side of the alignment. These are all the properties that I want to attach to my guardrail so that I can quantify this via a report later on. I'll set the description from what I call a pick list. You'll note that the item number is derived from the description itself. What occurred in the background is MicroStation executed a lookup based on what I had selected from the pick list. And through a calculated property expression, it then looked up the item number and unit from an Excel spreadsheet, what we refer to as a lookup table. I'll go ahead and define the alignment's name, the start and ending station, as well as the side. The item number is now set and the unit is set to LF, standing for linear feet. Both of those values came from that spreadsheet. You also note that the design length is not filled out right now. But why is that? Well, it's the fact that we have not attached the item type to an element. When we attach the item type to an element, it'll fill that in, and I'll show that in just a moment. Now I'll go ahead and pick the element that I want to attach the data to. And it's simple as that. That data is attached to the geometry I selected. Please keep in mind that this isn't just limited to MicroStation. MicroStation is based upon Bentley's Power Platform technology, as are other Bentley applications, such as Open Roads Designer, Open Buildings Designer, and many others. So what does that mean to you? It means that the workflows and the tools that you learn here can be applied to many other Bentley products, not just MicroStation. This non-graphical business data can then be reported on to produce quantities, bill of materials, and even schedules. They can even be used to quickly add annotation via labels and text. Another thing to keep in mind is that using Open Roads Designer with Asset Manager to add this type of item data, that can result in the automatic assignment of things like the alignment, the start and ending stations, as well as the alignment side. However, when you're using plain MicroStation, like I am here, that data must be entered manually into MicroStation, as MicroStation doesn't understand the open road civil element. Item types can be used in either product and are simply the same tool, making it easy for you to use the tool that you have at hand and that is available. The elements and their associated attributes or properties, including the attached item types, can all be reviewed. I'll select the cable guardrail with element selection. Again, note the inclusion of the item number, the unit LF for linear feet, and the design length. The item number and unit were defined by the selection of the three cable rail type one that was selected from the description. And the design length was determined through a calculated expression built into the item type definition. I hope you see how easy and fast it is to attach business data to an existing element, and most importantly, 
walk away knowing that the MicroStation Connect Edition can use pick lists and lookup tables that are stored in Excel spreadsheets to define its item data. Join me in the next video where we review attaching more item types with element selection, but this time as a group, and how item types being attached can drive the value for things like square footage, square yards, or even volume, density, weight, and calculate short tons. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.